This module is referred to as a synth voice module because it's got sort of all the parts that you need for a synthesizer, which includes uh, an oscillator, which is this portion here, um, and as well as I have a second oscillator so I can get some more complex sounds. Um, these are sort of sound generation um, portions of the synthesizer, so um, they send out a, a wave um, in uh, different shapes, but that you know oscillates and creates an audio rate sound. So um, these are the oscillators, and then down here I have a low frequency oscillator. So um, same thing, but just at a, a much lower frequency. So you can use that voltage to then control other parameters, such as um, the filter which is a, a classic, um, the, the sort of sound of a synthesizer um, is made by a, a filter section. And you can use um, the wave coming out of here to sort of uh, turn this um, without having to physically turn it. Um, and then to articulate the notes, there is um, what we call an envelope or attack decay sustain release attack is how long it takes for the note to start decay is how long it takes it from whenever it's maximum to reach a lower level sustain is how long it stays at that lower level and release is how long it takes to fade out once you've released the key so i have this hooked up to a uh, uh one of my other synthesizers as a keyboard controller just to make this a little bit easier to to look at. So um, I'm going to play one note. Let's turn that up a little bit. So this is coming out of the oscillator and running into this mixer section. A lot of this stuff is pre-wired um, internally on this synth voice, but you can break those normalizations. So let's take, uh, let, let's hear um, a classic sort of uh, square wave uh, from here. Put that into the first section of the mixer. So that's a square wave, but then also we have options of other waves too, such as a sine wave. It's a really pure tone triangle that's sort of the next purest, more like a, sort of a wind instrument, like a flute. And then a saw, very classic synth sound, very buzzy. And you can use those in, whoa, uh, combination uh, with each other, or just for this demonstration, we'll just go with the one. Uh, let's go with the square wave or the pulse wave so that's sending out a signal that's either on or off like a square um, uh, with the top being the high amount of, of signal and the bottom being zero or the low amount of signal so here I have my oscillator running into my mixer turn everything else down so this is just that um, and then I can take the out of that mixer and run it into the filter here and give you a little taste of what that's like. So I'm running this into the filter, which is a, a multi-mode filter. So you can do low pass, which is sort of the classic sound uh, with the um, and then there's high pass and band pass as well. So I'm just going to take the low pass and uh, run it uh, into, well, I'll just, I think it's normalized to here, but I'm just going to take the low pass and put it into the amplifier. And then I'm going to turn the release and sustain a K up. So that's a really mild filter sweep there, but you can get a bit more character by adding what's resonance and that sort of adds some emphasis to um, how 
how the filter uh, sweeps out the harmonic frequencies from high to low. So. And you can control the frequency or the width and LFO. So I'm going to take the triangle wave out and put it into the frequency control. And you can see that the square wave, I mean triangle wave, is modulating the frequency. And you can increase the frequency of that. some cool stuff going on. So you can use a low frequency oscillator to sort of continually modulate it, or alternatively, you can use the envelope as sort of a one-time modulation. And that's how it's normaled in this synthesizer. So um, I have it now set up so that the note and the filter response are on the same envelope with um, a medium amount of attack, um, decay, sustain, and release. So that means it'll take a little bit for the note to start and a little bit for the filter to start kicking in. If I turn those down, then you can get something really cool where the note sort of fades in and then immediately cuts out. Turn that down a little bit for a little bit more. You can get some really plucky sounds. And so yeah, those are sort of the basics of a modular synthesizer as shown uh, with this single synth voice module.